Hi, and welcome to my channel. This episode is based on Marsha Warfield biography. Marsha Francine Warfield was born on March 5th, 1954 on the south side of Chicago. <clears throat> Marsha's biological father left the family upon the arrival of her younger sister, Cassandra Freeman. <clears throat> they were raised by their mother and stepfather, Josephine and James Gordon, who was a computer operator at the library system. Marsha graduated at the age of 17. She attended Morgan Park High School, but finished her senior year at Chicago's Columbia High School. Marsha married at the age of 18. The marriage lasted a mere few months before ending any divorce. She began her acting career in 1978. She started her first television film, That Thing, which aired on ABC of that same year she became a thespian. She's best known for her role as Roz Russell in the NBC sitcom Night Court from 1986 to 1992. Roz Russell's character was the no-nonsense bailiff in Jetta Stone's courtroom. She also starred in a sitcom in the nest as Dr. Maxine Douglas from 1993 to 1995. Before Night Court, Marsha was a writer and a performer for the short-lived Richard Pryor show. She appeared in feature films such as DC Cab in 1983 and Mask in 1995. She also hosted her self-entitled television show, The Marsha Warfield Show, for 10 months from March 1990 to January 1991. Marsha made several guest appearances on many television shows, including Rip Tide, Family Ties, Clueless, Chairs, Living Single, In Living Color, Moesha, and Touched by an Angel. She also did stand up comedy, including appearances on The Norm Crosby Show. Marsha hosted the Comedy Shot TV series. She won the San Francisco National Comedy Competition in 1979 over such competition as Dana Carvey and A. Whitney Brown. In 2017, Marsha opened up to her mom and told her that she was part of the LGBTQ community. Her mother's response was that she already knew and was always aware of her sexuality. Her mother made her keep her a promise that she wouldn't come out publicly with her sexuality as long as she was living. Marsha had promised that she wouldn't do that, but it was actually something that, she, that really didn't sit well with her at all. She really didn't have to come out the closet publicly because people who knew her already knew that she was a lesbian. And those who didn't know her well, didn't know her, knew as well. Well, Marsha, not everyone knew because I damn sure didn't. Did y'all know that she was a lesbian? Let me know. That's it, it wasn't much information on her. Couldn't gather too much information on Miss Marsha Warfield. I think she's married though. She's married and she's still living and doing well. Yep, that was it. Thanks for watching.